Here's a, this is now because, as I said before, this is becoming like the classic chicken foot arrangement where the song starts out with a riff and the band kicks in and it goes through all these different changes and by the time you get back to the main riff, you've almost forgotten it because we've taken you on such a musical journey. And, um, but it got started very simply where Sam and I were talking about some blues groups that we really liked and some blues singers and we were saying, would it be great if we could somehow fuse what we do naturally as a band with some old style blues songwriting where the, the guitar figure and the vocals are not necessarily doing everything together in unison but they're somehow syncopated and intertwined and so it wasn't just chord strumming with a melody line that's actually uh, um, like a counterpoint between the guitar line and, and the vocal line. So I got to work on that one. That was one of those things where I just was thinking what would be fun to play and have somebody sing in and around, and uh, and 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 that one worked out great because Sam had a you know he he heard the riff he knew exactly how he wanted to weave in and out of it and that thing got written very quickly. Well, the video of course will probably win awards around the world <laughs> for being the video. best barbecue video ever made. <laughs> and it's too bad that they you know you can't smell videos because it smelled really good too. <laughs> We, and we were barbecuing chicken, of course. Oh, yeah. I love the chorus because I always love the gang type of thing. You know, oh, yeah. And uh, it is something that uh, will hopefully create a lot of audience participation in the chorus, you know. It's got a great, uh, again, the, the, the solo. I think Joe is amazing in this solo. The first part of the solo almost, you know, it'll sound like a keyboard to you. And uh, with Chad and I doing kind of a little f almost funky type of thing behind it, it's a good combination of that power and that funk merging together. Our backyard video that we did for Oh Yeah, uh, be watching for the Michael Anthony Sid Vicious look during the solo on this one. I did it just for you. <laughs> and then Oh Yeah, uh, I don't even know how that happened, but um, Joe and I, when we were trying to write songs together, we, I usually uh, would wait for his music. He would, you know, he'd just bring a piece of music and, and I'd go, oh man, I'd get inspired and go write lyrics and melody to it. But with Oh Yeah, I told him about this con concept I had lyrically where I was saying, you know, if I were this, I would be able to do this. And if I could do this, I would do that, you know. It was like a high conscious thing about how I would change the world and mold and shape this world into the greatest place to live on on a planet. This real high consciousness, beyond you too consciousness. But as I started writing the lyrics, I, I, it, man, you run out of ideas. It's like, well, what would you really do if you were the president or if you were a king or if you were Jesus or you were Buddha, you were God, you know, you have all these choices. What would you do? And man, it was rough. And I, I didn't finish these lyrics in this song through for probably a month. It took me about a month. And finally, I just settled on, look, I, I'm, I forget that big crazy idea. I'm just gonna touch on it a little bit and use Jesus, use Buddha, use King, use a blues man, you know, use a potter, use you know, um, a magic man, all these different things. And, and I just made it a, a boy-girl chase song. I mean, it's like, you know, love songs are, the, are just the easiest things to write about because everyone's either had a good experience or a bad experience with love. And so you can talk about so many things. So, oh yeah, it's just a classic friggin' ass kicking rock tune, man. <laughs> That's what it is. You know, we were sitting there playing it back after we first started playing it together. I didn't have any lyrics written or nothing. And I, and I remember we were playing it back and I, and I just started singing, oh yeah. And Chad was sitting up at the council. He turned around, like, yeah, 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 you know, and everybody's going, oh. The first time I did it, the next time the chorus came, everybody in the room was going, oh, yeah. So I thought, you know, it's like maybe I could write a better lyric than that, but not really. If that's what you're really saying is, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm liking this, then that's the way to say it. Profound, simple, 
We, we all got together and sang that. We have it on video, of course. We've all seen it by now, probably. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, I, you know, in, in the middle of the recording session, we all just went in there and yelled and screamed, oh, yeah, about 20 times. And, of course, Joe blew his voice out after about the third one. He's going, oh, yeah. Saying, Joe, come on out. Oh, yeah! He's going, oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe's too mellow. He's too mellow to do that. On the guitar, he's not mellow. Forget about it, man. <laughs> Chad was, they had to put Chad in the other room. He was yelling and screaming so loud. Chad's like a maniac. Joe's like the anti-Chad. They're like yin-yang. Oh, yeah! That killer riff that Joe does um, reminds me kind of a, of a, um, I know we're not supposed to talk about Led Zeppelin when, since Sammy got drunk and said that we were better than Led Zeppelin. We're not better than Led Zeppelin, and Sammy was drunk when he said that, okay? So put that shit to rest. But we love Led Zeppelin. Who doesn't? And, and that, 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 that guitar, to me, that riff that Joe came up with, reminds me of something that you would hear off like a physical graffiti record or something. And so that's just me trying to do my, my John Bonham meets Phil Rudd impersonation. Again, in the chorus, it's very ACDC. I don't sing. I can't like sing. I can't hold a note, but I can, I can yell good. Oh, yeah! And I get to do that like every night. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> do a couple of those. Oh, yeah, there's a, there, we did a little thing. Um, I don't know, these guys from Russia showed up and they, they were supposed to do an interview. They brought their cameras and, and they didn't get clearance and they didn't have their papers. And so um, they knew that we had uh, actually, he, he said to me, he goes, so, uh, Chad, how do you find, uh, f play with Hagar, Sammy and Mr. Mike and Satrini? And I said, eHarmony. Dude, not match.com, eHarmony. I we actually we were I was looking for a Russian mail mail order bride. And so this is how he found out about me. And da, 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 da. next thing you know, he came over here. He thought he was interviewing me because, you know, I was gonna marry this this Russian mafia's princess, and then they were gonna I was gonna be in a family, and then, of course, you know, I would die a terrible death, but I could drink a lot of vodka. And he ends up so shooting this video ish. We're in the back of Sammy's rehearsal place, and we're just acting very naturally, very naturally. This is just the things we do every day. We, you know, you'll see it. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. My basketball skill. I'm not going to say anything, but the Lakers. If Kobe goes down, they know who to call. Chad, Chad. From Chad, Joe, Sammy, and Mike. Oh, I get it.